In this video, you will learn how to create a dashboard in Dynatrace. We will start with Infrastructure Health Overview Dashboard, where we will see how to capture the metrics at the host level like a CPU usage, memory usage, disk usage, and the service level metrics like response time, request count, uh, failure rate, 4x errors, 5x errors. Click on the create dashboard here and name the dashboard as infrastructure uh, health overview and create. So this is how the dashboard UI looks like. You have many tiles at the right side. You just drag a tile of your choice. I'll start with uh, the graph. Once you drag the tile, on the right hand side you can see configure in data explorer. You just click on that. Here you can select the metric. We'll start with uh, CPU usage and select host so that all the metrics related to host will reflect below. So here I have taken CPU usage percentage and uh, we can just split by host and filter by host name here in the drop down we have many options like host tag or uh, host group so you can uh, filter by anything like if you have a set of host which has a particular tag you can uh, filter by that using the tag here i am taking host name and since I have only one host in my environment, I have I've been selecting that. In your case, you can just split by host and then instead of uh, filtering by the host name, you can just select a management zone at the right hand side. Um, you can see my uh, video on uh, management zones, which is on my channel, uh, how to create a management zone. So here I have taken uh, filter by host name and uh, the style you can select as per your choice you can uh, select top list this is the stacked column or graph and you can uh, just click on save changes i have taken the stacked column here and in the title here at the right hand side you can uh, give the title this is the cpu usage and just click on done again to add a new tile you can you need to click on edit and again do the same thing like dragging the tile and uh, you can go to the configure uh, tile in data explorer now we'll uh, take a memory usage metric here and click on uh, host so these are the metrics that are related to the host I'll take memory usage used percentage you can take memory available percentage as well again the same you can split by host and filter by host name and run query so currently this is in graph uh, still you can change it to stacked column or whatever that you like here for the memory used percentage uh, at the right hand side you have the option to set a threshold like uh, if it for example here we can set as if it crosses 20 it has to be in uh, yellow and if, if it crosses 50 it has to be in the red zone something like that you can try that and save changes You need not always uh, uh, here you can uh, change the title to memory usage you need not always uh, drag a tail you can even just click on the edit uh, dashboard and just we can just click on the tile and uh, say clone so that a new tile with the same uh, metrics will uh, appear so that we can edit that tile 
then we can just click on uh, configure thailand data explorer and here we can just change the metric to here we'll take disk usage and again click on host you can just try with the disk the, so yeah we have disk available percentage or disk used and then click on a run query and we can just save it we can we'll just remove these thresholds here uh, you can save the tile you can either clone a tile or you can just uh, drag a new tile i'm just showing uh, all the options you can even change the title from here when we are using the disk usage we can even uh, split by uh, the disk as well here i have uh, uh, since i have only two disks uh, I had I did not split by disk but even we can uh, split by disk as well and then we can filter uh, using this option filter uh, with uh, disk and disk name and these are the disk uh, mounts that are uh, available so that we can just uh, filter by here I can I am doing with uh, I am filtering with the two disks this is the pattern we can default pattern we can change it uh, change the color pattern from here i have a service in my environment so we'll just try to capture the metrics for that particular service like uh, response time similarly now you can you can just uh, um, search with the keyword response and click on the service so that uh, all the metrics related to the services will uh, reflect and you can uh, filter it by the service name and run query you will have that particular uh, the response time for that particular service response time for that particular service you can even select stacked area you can uh, just uh, you can uh, select the pattern as per your choice and even the color which is visually good and you can click on uh, save changes change the title to response time and uh, save the changes can just toggle over the tile and uh, click on the tile and it will uh, redirect you to that particular service here in the custom uh, multi dimensional analysis and from here even you can see the traces distributed traces so we'll go back to the dashboard again we'll try to add a new tile uh, 
for the request count and the failure rates as well click on edit drag a new tile click on uh, configure tile in data explorer and just select request count and uh, select service so that all the relevant uh, metrics will uh, reflect so this is the request count you can get split by service and uh, filter by service name since i have only one service i am directly taking the service name in, in your case when you have uh, multiple uh, services uh, you can either uh, mark it as a key request and uh, you can select the metric uh, request count for the key request that i'll show you in a different video run the query and save the changes We'll try to capture uh, failure rate as well for the service. Any errors or uh, any particular, if you are particular about 4x, you can select 4x also from the drop down. And uh, the request type, what, what kind of request here we are having uh, only these dynamic web requests. Currently, I think we don't have any failures, so nothing is showing up here. We have all 200 status codes, we don't have any failures. Once there is a failure, it will uh, automatically ca be captured on the da dashboard. You can just save the changes. change the title to failure rate you can just click on the tile and uh, Okay, we'll remove the thresholds from here. You can click on the tile and we'll again try to clone uh, the tile and for a new metric click we'll see 4x errors. Yeah. We have many metrics like number of 4x errors or uh, number of calls without uh, 4x errors and you can filter it by the service name again. So whatever metric that you want to capture, you can just uh, come to the data explorer and uh, uh, type the keyword uh, with the key, search with the keyword uh, for that particular metric. So 
So these are all the built-in metrics that are available in dashboard uh, in uh, Dynatrace. If you have a particular custom metric, even you can uh, create that particular custom. We'll talk more about uh, how to create uh, custom metrics and uh, then capture it on a dashboard in our coming uh, videos. And even we'll talk about uh, business and application insights like uh, how to capture uh, the slow requests uh, uh, from the real user monitoring uh, and uh, how, how to capture the errors and uh, how to visualize uh, these uh, on uh, uh, on a particular endpoint uh, which is throwing uh, these uh, 4x or 5x errors and even the uh, capturing uh, user sessions or aptex score and uh, uh, coming to the kubernetes uh, metrics like uh, pod metrics uh, cpu throttling or uh, all the other metrics that are related to kubernetes clusters uh, or in the cluster overview uh, and all and even the new dashboards using dql uh, in our uh, coming videos uh, so please subscribe so